A warm welcome back to our Steam Machines. This is Jack from Conductive Music with a session exploring science, coding and music entitled Sound Snap. This is Steam Corner and at the end of the session today you will have coded your very own Sound Snap game to help you practice the recognition of musical instruments. The coding we'll be using today is available on the link below. So give it a click on your tablet or your computer to get yourself started. As ever, thanks to Arts Council England and our partners for making these sessions possible. This is your opening screen for the coding program we're going to be building today. So let's have a quick look at the information you're going to be greeted with when you um, arrive here. Let's just full screen it. What you'll find are musical instruments and they're on their own little panels here. You might have to just click on them to bring them to the front. Let's just go through which musical instruments we have here to give you a better chance of being able to match the sounds up in our sound snap. This is what this session is called. So our first musical instrument is an electric guitar. Our second one here is violin. This one here is a cello. We have a trumpet here over at number four and look for these numbers because they are going to become important later for you. Number five is a piano. You can see it's keyboard there. Uh, number six is a flute. Uh, number seven hiding under there is a saxophone. Number eight is a double bass. And I'll just go back to this one, which was at the start, which was a harp at number nine. There's lots of different ways which we could separate these instruments. So for example, some of them like the harp here or the double bass or the electric guitar have strings or a violin even. Uh, some are made for metal like our saxophone and our trumpet here and others are keyboard instruments like our, our piano. But there's one um, or two other ways which we're going to talk about today that we can classify our instruments and the first is by something called pitch and in music pitch is a range from low to high so we have here a range of instruments with different pitches so they could they are possible to play at different pitch ranges now let's start at the very bottom over here if we go to number eight our double bass is the biggest instrument here and that means it's going to have the lowest pitch because the bigger something is, the more capable it is of producing lower sounding pitches. And let's just ask a question quickly. Which of these other instruments do you think are going to be the opposite from that? What, which instruments do you think are going to be higher pitched? Well, if you take the rule that large instruments are low pitched, you have to have the same thing the other end. So any smaller instruments are going to be higher pitched. So today we're probably going to say number two, our violin and our trumpet here are probably going to be the higher pitched instruments. And this is going to be very important because today what you're going to be trying to do is match each of these to their correct sound. We've been discussing how bigger instruments produce lower sounds and smaller instruments produce higher sounds. But what actually produces the sound? Well, sound is made when vibrations pass through something. For us, it's usually when vibrations pass through the ear, but it could easily be passed through water, for example, which is why if you put your head underwater in a swimming pool, you can still hear sounds because the vibration is traveling through the water and into our ear. When the vibrations reach our ear, tiny, tiny bones there pick up the vibration and convert them into sounds. The greater the strength of the vibrating object, the louder the sound. So let's start to investigate some of our sounds here. And unfortunately, I haven't made it easy for you because there are nine musical instruments here. But as you'll see in a second, there are 15 
instruments that are going to play. So you're going to have to work out which of those are red herrings, i.e. which I purposely put into the game to try to trick you. Okay, so let's go to our first sprite here, our double bass. I'm going to click onto it. And there's not much code here, but don't worry, we, we can, we're going to put a little bit more on to help us out. So on our double bass, we're going to go up here to sounds and click on the tab. So if you look down the left hand side of this page, can you see all of the potential instruments that you've got to audition? So we are looking for a double bass sound. And don't forget, as we said, the double bass is a very low pitched instrument. And you can check that out by going back to the picture of it here and seeing how big it is in real life. So we're looking for a very low pitched sound. Okay, let's audition a few of these and see if we can actually find which one it is. Here we go. So have a listen. Well, without giving too much away, one of those was definitely a low sounding double bass. So your next challenge, once you've found what it is, I'm going to tell you, obviously, this was instrument six. It's the last one we started listening to here. What I'm going to ask you to do is go and match each of these musical instruments with their correct sound. So it's going to be a lot of listening and a lot of detective work on your part as well. So let me just show you when you're convinced, you know, which of these sounds relates to which of the instruments. Let me just show you how we're going to code that into it. So we're going to go over here to code. Now we're going to remember that we thought it was instrument six and we've already got this sprite on um, this picture here, which says when this sprite is clicked and then we're going to go to our sound menu and we're going to ask it to start and then correct sound. So instrument six and then when we click on our double bass over here, we'll get the sound sample. So give this game a pause, please, and try to complete the rest of the instruments. Off you go. Okay, so in a second, we're going to look at the correct combination. But let's just talk about which of these instruments is going to be the loudest. And we have a bit of a, a weird situation here because the loudest of our instruments here is actually the same as the quietest of our instruments. And I'll explain what I mean now. The loudest of the instruments here is going to be number one, the electric guitar. And that's cheating in a way because what makes the electric guitar loud is the fact that you plug it into an amplifier and an amplifier can be as loud as you like. And it could easily eclipse any of the other instruments. But also because it uses an amplifier, if you play the electric guitar just without an amplifier, it's, it's not built to resonate as well as the other acoustic instruments here. So actually it would probably be the quietest. So that's what I mean by that it's, it's simultaneously the loudest and the quietest instrument. Many would probably say here the trumpet is the loudest instrument and that's because metal instruments focus those vibrations in a way that make us perceive them as being loud. So I think probably most people would come up with trumpet for the loudest and probably either flute or violin for the quietest or maybe even harp if you especially if you played it right on the top of those strings where there wouldn't be that much energy okay so let's go through our combination so listening to our first example i'm going to click on the sprite and it's going to activate the code to play the correct piece of music 
And our violin. And our cello. And our trumpet. And our piano. And our flute. And our saxophone. And finally, we, we know our double bass because we had that before. Let's listen to our harp. Before we move on, let's just go through the red herrings as well and say what they were. So our first one was instrument one. Which was a cymbal. Uh, second one was instrument three. Which was a glockenspiel. And next was instrument four. Which was someone singing. And then four, it was eight. which was a clarinet, which is in the woodwind family. And then we skip ahead to 13. Which was a timpani or a kettle drum. And lastly, number 14. which was a church organ. Okay, I hope you managed to spot all of those red herrings. Okay, so I hope you got your instruments matched up correctly. To take us on to the next stage, I'd like you to click on the little speaker in the bottom middle of the screen 10 times. Click once more and on this 11th click, you will start the sound recognition game and the game will work like this. You will hear three separate episodes of music connected to one of the instruments on the screen. Now remembering that each of those instruments has a number, I want you to take a number code from the instruments you listen to. So for example, if you hear a trumpet, a flute, and then a double bass, your number code would be four, six, and eight. And I've been a little bit tricky this time because I haven't used the same samples as before. So you're gonna to need to re-listen to reawaken your sense of which instrument is which. So take a note of your code, enter it in the computer, and see how many correct answers you can get. Off you go. So as we were just saying, if you click on the speaker at the bottom of the screen 10 times, on the 11th time, you'll be able to start playing the game. And the game will work like this. The computer will play three different excerpts out of these number of instruments. So for example, you may hear a trumpet, and then you may hear a saxophone, then you may hear a violin. And I've made it difficult for you because I haven't, in most of the cases, used the same samples as before. So you're gonna to have to use your ears to really listen to the differences. And then once you've worked out the three instruments you've heard, you have to input their numbers. So for example, for a trumpet, you put four, saxophone, seven, and for the violin, two. 
And then at the end, when it's finished, it'll ask you to input these numbers and then tell you if you got the correct combination. So let's go ahead with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And on this next one, we should start to play the game. So here we go. What was the number code of the instruments you just heard? Type it in without spaces. So I've got room here to type it in. Now the first instrument I think was the piano. So that's gonna be a number five. Then we had our double bass, which we had very early, which is an eight. And then lastly, I think was trumpet. So let me just try that combination. Go over here and click on the tick. There we go. As an idea, if you're going through this and you're having lots of correct answers and you're not having trouble spotting any of the instruments, how about trying to code your own musical snap using places in your home or places in your school? And the way you could do that would be to grab a recorder and take sound effects from different places and then make a sort of map or a grid or some sort of icon that relates to those. So it might be a running tap, for example, it might be a TV, it might be something that you can spot in your house. And then you could code the same way that this game works. So when you click on it, you're supposed to hear that sound and see if you can challenge people to see if they can do it. We've come to the end of the session today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you've had fun spotting those red herrings and recognizing the musical instruments within your computer code. I'd just like to take your attention to our Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch accounts. If you see conductive music on there, click on that subscribe button. Also, if you head over to conductivemusic.uk, you will find over 60 one hour projects for you to get your teeth stuck into. So help yourself out by clicking on the subscription link below. As ever, thanks to Arts Council England and our partners for their continuing support. Bye-bye. <laughs>